Hello, thanks for watching this. I am Dr. Gigi Chala, a pediatrician and the Vice President and Chief of General Pediatrics here at Children's Minnesota. There really is nothing worse for a parent than to watch their child in pain. So parents and the kids themselves, of course, expect us to do everything possible to take pain away. Our own research has shown that children heal faster when they receive better pain control. That's why we created the Children's Comfort Promise, stating that we will do everything possible to prevent and treat pain. We started with needle procedures because a survey among our patients in Minneapolis and St. Paul showed that pain caused by needles, lab draws, IV access, and vaccinations were rated by kids as the worst pain they experienced in our care. We also know if it doesn't go well the first time, children will experience more fear, anxiety, and pain with the next needle procedure. Which is why we were the first healthcare organization in the world to offer four evidence-based strategies as the standard of care for needle procedures for our patients. So let me introduce you to two amazing experts who will show you how to help your patients have much less pain caused by needles with these four simple steps. Hey, I'm Daniela. Wow, that hurts. I'm Alex. <laughs> yeah, pain is no fun. That's why we're here. So we all know that needles are no fun, but there are four things we can do with needle procedures, like lab draws, shots, and IVs that can help them feel better. Children's staff is trained to take these steps, and family members and caregivers are a huge help. So here they are. Step one, numbing. Be sure to numb the skin first. There are lots of ways to get it done. Just make sure it happens. Step two, sugar water. For babies less than a year old, giving them sugar water works like a pain blocker. Step three, positioning. Help the child feel comfortable. Usually this means sitting up, but it's always their choice. Here's my favorite trick. Step four, distractions. Games, videos, bubbles, books, music, bring it on. Anything to get your mind away from the needle. Afterward, tell your child what they did well and comfort them. You know what works best. And that's it. Four simple techniques that can significantly reduce pain and fear with needles. Part of the children's comfort promise. Together, we can all make a big difference. Now let's look at what you can do for your child. Just watch the video for their age group. There are ways to numb the skin that can really help with needle pain. Staff should offer to use them each time. If they don't, please remind them. Or you can do it yourself before the appointment. You can buy 4% lidocaine at most drugstores, but check with staff or your doctor first so you know how to use it and where to put it. It needs about 30 minutes to work and lasts up to an hour, so you need to plan ahead. For babies, sugar water also helps with comfort. Sugar water works like a pain medicine and actually blocks pain messages from moving to the baby's brain. <laughs> Pretty cool, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Breastfeeding works the same way and is another great option. Sugar water or breastfeeding needs to start one to two minutes before the needle happens. Don't worry about where to get the sugar water, just ask the staff and they'll provide it. If you're nervous about how to use it, just ask. You can put it on a pacifier or on a finger and just let them suck. Or just squirt a little bit into the side of the baby's cheek. The baby doesn't swallow it, it's just observed in their mouth. You are your baby's best source of comfort, so we need you close by holding them as best. For babies under six months, it also helps to swaddle them. It makes them feel safe and comfortable and decreases the pain they feel with the needle. Skin-to-skin -skin contact is another option which has been shown to increase baby's comfort. If you're unsure how to do this, have staff show you before the procedure. Aw, I love babies. 
And who doesn't? <laughs> Babies older than six months feel safer if you help them sit up. It's best if you hold them in your lap. If they're having a shot, chest to chest works best. For lab draws or IV starts, holding the back to chest is better. Even as babies, it helps if we don't focus on the needle. Singing or making rhythmic sounds like, oh, oh, cutie, oh, you're so cute. Or shh, 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 works well. If your baby has a favorite toy or comfort object, use that. If you need some ideas, you can always ask the staff. After it's all done, don't forget to comfort your baby. Uh, rocking, snuggling, hugs, breastfeeding, you know it works. And that's it. Four simple techniques that can significantly reduce pain and fear with needles. Part of the children's comfort promise. Together, we can all make a big difference. Because is there anything better than a smiling kid? I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't. Me neither. There are ways to numb the skin that can really help with needle pain. Staff should offer to use them each time. If they don't, please remind them. Or you can do it yourself before the appointment. You can buy 4% lidocaine at most drugstores, but check with staff or your doctor first so you know how to use it and where to put it. It needs about 30 minutes to work and lasts up to an hour, so you need to plan ahead. Toddlers and preschoolers feel safer and more in control if you have them sit up. There are different ways you can hold them, but it's usually best if you have them on your lap. If they are getting a shot, chest to chest works well. You can also have them sit on your lap with their legs between yours. For lab draws or IVs, back to chest works best. If you're not sure what to do, it's always best to ask a staff member to help. Toddlers and preschoolers need something active to distract them. Bubbles, pinwheels, interactive stories, games, or videos all keep them busy. After the procedure is done, let us know what we did well. Keep it simple and provide comfort. You know what works best. And that's it. Four simple techniques that can significantly reduce pain and fear with needles. Part of the children's comfort promise. Together, we can all make a big difference. Because is there anything better than a smiling kid? I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't. Me neither. There are ways to numb the skin that can really help with needle pain. Staff should offer to use them each time. If they don't, please remind them. Or you can do it yourself before the appointment. You can buy 4% lidocaine at most drugstores, but check with staff or your doctor first so you know how to use it and where to put it. It needs about 30 minutes to work and lasts up to an hour, so you need to plan ahead. School-age kids may or may not want to sit on their parents' lap. Let them choose. Make sure you take the time to hear what they want. But remember, upright is always best. Chest to chest will work for shots or having them sit on your lap with their legs between yours. If they're having labs drawn or an IV started, having them lean their back on your chest works as well. You can also sit next to them snuggled in to help them hold still. at this age need a lot of options and some even like to watch. Make sure the choice is theirs. Interactive music, books, stories, phone apps, videos, and yes, even bubbles and pinwheels all work well to distract this age group. After the procedure is done, let us know what we did well. Keep it simple and provide comfort. You know what works best. And that's it. Four simple techniques that can significantly reduce pain and fear with needles. Part of the children's comfort promise. Together, we can all make a big difference. Because is there anything better than a smiling kid? I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't. Me neither.
There are ways to numb the skin that can really help with needle pain. Staff should offer to use them each time. If they don't, please remind them. Or you can do it yourself before the appointment. You can buy 4% lidocaine at most drugstores, but check with staff or your doctor first so you know how to use it and where to put it. It needs about 30 minutes to work and lasts up to an hour, so you need to plan ahead. For teens, and I can speak with good authority on this, make sure they are upright and comfortable. If they want a parent or caregiver close by or holding them, that's their choice. A side by side or leaning back to chest are both good options. We teens often bring our own distractions along. If we have our phones, we're automatically distracted. I like to put my headphones in and listen to music or play a game. Oh, 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 sorry, I, I was distracted. After the needle procedure, let us know what we did well. Keep it simple and provide comfort. You know what works best. And that's it. Four simple techniques that can significantly reduce pain and fear with needles. Part of the children's comfort promise. Together, we can all make a big difference. Because is there anything better than a smiling kid? I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't. Me neither.